Softy. I'm an egg. I'm immune to the plot, and I can transcend time and space. Also, I'm coming after you. You can figure out the rest. Have fun. <laughs> I'm a cactus. Honk. 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 I'm a cactus. I'm a cactus. Honk.
Honk. I am a cactus. Change one bit, have you? Wow. Hmm? Tobias. Hey, Nick. The house. It's yours. Finally, after so long. Thanks, man. It's been... years. Decades at least, since I've been inside this house. I lived here when I was just a kid, with my family. My mom, my siblings, my, uh, my dad. I received a call from Tobias telling me that they were finally ready with the repairs this morning. Took them long enough. 
It's funny. Even after what happened, and all that time away from home, it looks just like I remembered it to be. Is my memory that precise? Uh, of course, things like the furniture and photos aren't here anymore, but hey, can't blame anybody for that. <laughs> right, right. I guess I better use that memory for something useful. I don't have the full story, nor do I know why it happened, but I can tell you how it started. Everything else is up to you to figure out. This is the story of the night I lost my home, my childhood, and almost my family. When Five Nights at Freddy's just ended. Can you tell me your name? Oh, look, man, if you won't talk, I'm calling the police. You can't just barge into someone's house like this. Are, are you hurt? Do you need any help? Honey, what's going on? I don't know. This man suddenly appears in our house. They've gone to one of the papers, but I don't know. Send him here or what? Michael! What? what? I, uh, I mean, by uh, uh, my name, it, it's Michael. I'm Michael. I, uh, uh, you, you asked me that before. Excuse me, but just what are you doing in our house? The sun's about to go down. I don't think you should be here. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that. You, uh, you, you, you look a little bit roughed up. What happened to you? I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't remember. Um, I'm sorry, but, but I just, I, I just don't know. Michael should get up. The floor is bad. Daddy, can you help Michael? Nighttime is coming and it would be bad to leave him outside. Um, I, I mean, I, I guess. Can you stand? Um, I, I think so. A bit. I, I just feel a bit, um, dizzy. Yes, dizzy. Come on, man. Let me help you up. After that, Dad carried the stranger to our guest room. He thanked me for convincing my parents to let him rest in our house for a night. Or at least, while I collected his thoughts. After that, Mom put me in bed. I can't remember much about Michael, but I knew he wasn't a bad person. Or, at least he didn't look, you know, dangerous. I was young, so I guess I just didn't know any better. Certainly didn't know what a burglar was, that's for sure. Um, not that I was implying he was, I'd never talk to him again after that. Well, except for when the storm happened. That's when I woke up on my bed, and I saw them. There are monsters around that'll hear you if you do. Now, don't be scared, Nick, okay? Listen to me, and we can defeat those monsters, all right? Okay, so these monsters might look, uh, 
surreal. Uh, and you don't look at them too long or you'll feel weird and see creepy things. When you do, turn on your desk lamp next to your bed. You'll feel safe there. Uh, the more you stare at the scary monsters, the worse you'll feel. All right? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, first things first. Uh, Freddy, uh, the fuzzy brown bear. Uh, he's at the window, Nick. Uh, he'll peek inside. Close your curtains and keep them closed until you hear him leave, or else he'll get inside. Uh, then there's Bonnie, the uh, ill-tempered big purple bunny. Uh, keep an eye on your door. He'll be there. Uh, he's not shy at all. Uh, he will knock on the door to let you know he's there. Once he opens the door, shut off the lights as fast as you can, Nicky. He can't see you well in the dark, and he'll leave. Uh, oh, but make sure you're sitting down when you do that, all right? Okay, uh, then there's the chicken. Uh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, check the closets often. Uh, if she's peeking through, make sure to disable the lights. Uh, she doesn't want to be seen, but ignoring her doesn't help either. If she does catch you with the lights on, she'll scare you and stun you. Now look, I, I know this is a lot to take in, little Nikki, okay? Just, just listen carefully and try to remember it all, please, okay? All right, last is Foxy. Uh, he'll be right beneath your bed, Nick. You'll hear scraping from the bottom of the crib when he's there. Uh, be watchful if you see his hook on the back of your bed, because soon enough he'll be right there next to the bed. Uh, don't look directly at him, Nick. Instead, pretend to sleep. All right, just pretend to sleep. Yeah, just lie down without moving too much. Look up and close your eyes. Uh, Foxy sees eyes as if they're big, bright spotlights, okay? So if you pretend to sleep, he won't know you're there anymore. But don't open them until you know he's gone, okay? Okay, uh, so to recap, um, Freddy is at the window, so if you see him peeking, close the curtains until he's gone. Uh, Bonnie will knock on the door and open it afterwards. Uh, disable the lights and sit down until he leaves. Chica will try to stun you by scaring you, so if you see her peeking through the closet, shut off your lights and don't pretend to sleep. She'll think you're gone. And Foxy will appear under your crib and move upwards. So when he's next to your bed, pretend to sleep until you hear him leave. All right, you got all that? All right, good. Uh, listen, I have to go, little buddy, okay? Just hang in there. Or they'll leave at six...